Hey, hi, howdy, and hello, friends, and welcome on back. We're heading back into the chickadee farm, uh, where we're gonna be doing some stuff. Butterflies! Um, we're gonna be organizing. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Also, I think... Ooh, Friday the 5th. Nice. Yeah, we, <laughs> we passed out, didn't we? We passed out in the fields last night, you know, as you do. So it's, it's a thing. It's important. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to be doing this thing where I'm going to be, um, maybe, maybe sort of, oh, oh, deluxe fish tank, nice. Uh, unfortunately, the deluxe fish tank only fits four fish in it, which is kind of a bummer. I would love to be able to fit all five legendary, but we're going to have to, here, here, Louis, you can look at that one. We're going to have to put, uh, only four in there. Um, let's put the glacier fish and the mutant carp. They've been in here for so long. What other two? Um, how about their their buddies? There you go. Yeah, we need to get the fish tanks from the key walnut room in order for us to really um for us to really get all of this going. So I'm gonna start I'm gonna start doing some stuff around. We're gonna start like really getting into organizing this whole place. So I don't think I'm gonna do a whole lot of like processing and everything at the moment. Maybe soon. I was thinking of leaving the ancient fruit to let the rest of the seeds grow, but um, honestly, it's gonna be a little bit. So I'm still going to pick all of the ancient fruit until probably the like halfway through the winter and then let everything kind of grow and be ready at the same time. Uh, let's go ahead and put the rest of the speed grow on these fiber seeds. I did miss quite a few <laughs> from my sweet old pass out. It's Friday, Friday, Friday. Yeah, I think Doing some things today would be nice. I think I'm okay on stones for a little while too. Um, okay, what are we doing? I need some more dragon teeth, so we need two dragon teeth. I need a little bit of radioactive ore because I turned it all into a bar. Um, maybe we'll go to the volcano today. It's a pretty decent luck day, so um, I'm gonna do something, but I don't know exactly what that something is. Oh, so I've been thinking a little bit about having someone move in i think it's about time for sure i think it's time to to have a roomie have a roommate i think it's gonna be wonderful yeah i think um i'm ready i'm ready for crobus to move in with us i was thinking earlier like oh maybe i should get married maybe i should have some kids but you know what the truth truth be told crobus is the best person for me so I think um, I'm going to go track down a void pendant and we'll get that taken care of. So best way to do that is to trade with the desert trader or just we could always find one in Skull Cavern. But I think I'm just going to take I like I have a whole bunch of void essence in the mines. So I think I'm just going to grab those and get that taken care of. And then Krobus will be my roommate here so soon. And we're gonna give them all of the um, iridium quality void eggs that we have. It's gonna be fantastic. So that's gonna be part of the whole plan to spruce this place up. I love it. Now, what are we doing with the rest of our day? Apart from getting that taken care of, um, Something. There was something. Oh, I was gonna go grab some radioactive ore. That was the thing. Let's go take a peek for that real quick. Uh, to town. No, not to town. We want to go to the mines. Go to the mines. We have, what do we have here? The desert trader for the void ghost pendant is 200. So yeah, that's plenty. That's plenty. I need to start working on getting my last two eradication goals which I think we have two more of those hey you please thank you it's gonna be wonderful it's gonna be the best thing ever today's the day that I'm going to ask Krobus to move in with me they're gonna love it so you can get radioactive ore pretty easily on any of these floors um I do like to reset floor one often when I have a good amount of luck. I just need a few so that we can get some, what's it called? I just need to be able to make some magic bait right now. Because we need a sunfish for me to cook the thing that I'm looking for. 
I guess I should have had some luck boosting food today, huh? Alright, that's enough for now. Wonderful. Now I'm excited. <gasps> oh, a crocus. No, I don't need them anymore <laughs> right now. We'll get plenty of crocus. We'll have plenty of seeds in a few days. For now, let's go ahead and... Oh, wait, how much? Let's see. Hold on, hold on. I also want to get the community upgrade going. So, that was also on my list. Uh, 950 wood and like all of my money. I have a full stack of wood at home, which is going to be perfect. We're going to get that real quick too. Today's just the day of like life improvements. We're going to do the community upgrade and then we're also going to go ask Krobus to move in with us. Yay! Um, my goals over the next few weeks is to completely fill out my preserve star sh shed and crystallarium shed and then have everything like nice neat and organized yes please community upgrade there you go three days perfect all right what's next let's head on over and visit Krobus. my love my lovely favorite platonic shadowy shadow my dark licorice cotton candy lovely little i don't know why i called him cotton candy he's not cotton candy if cotton candy was licorice flavor that would be crobus i love you crobus crobus hi buddy oh it's friday so you're not talking to me that's okay you'll say something to this though right <gasps> yes how did you oh Wow, I'll come live with you if you like. Oh, sounds good to me. Who needs kids when you have Krobus? That's fine. I'm okay with it. We had hugs. My first hugs with the Krobus. I'm so happy. We have all of these quests that we can do too. Um, Let's go ahead home. I want to do a couple of these quests, but maybe I'll wait. It'll let me buy another hat, I think, once we get some more quests done. Perfect. Now, um, it was, let me, let me see, an iridium bar. I don't have many, but we have one. We need a battery for Pam. I don't have many, but we have, actually, I've got a ton. I think maybe I want to switch to the purple shoes. Yeah, let's switch to the purple shoes right now. I think that's, that's going to look better for this, this look. Um, okay, so that's for Pam. We can do a lobster, which is going to be inside the house. Oh, I don't have a lobster. I have some on the island, though. So we can do a, a old sneaky purple shorts for Lewis. By going boop, bop, we'll give that to him. <laughs> because I want to hold on to the ones that we have here. Um, elsewhere here like forever right so one two three four five six that's six of the quest items plus this quest and as soon as i get a lobster i will do the other one so not today but soon um what are we doing with our day so um i'm actually planning on kind of converting a lot of stuff into um this stuff here yeah i'm gonna start working on all of my pathing today tomorrow and um, the next couple of days some of this is gonna not be a uh, not be brick anymore. It's gonna be other stuff. Oh, it is Friday. I wonder if the traveling cart has anything. <laughs> do I need anything? Um, do you have a sunfish? You have a puffer fish. Cool. Brick floor. I'm gonna buy it. I'm feeling like spending some money today. <laughs> Uh, one brick floor for however much too much money that was. That's fine. Hey, buddy. Oh, okay. Uh, this is for you, though. Yeah. I'm feeling like doing some questing, so... Yeah. Let's go ahead and move some buildings around real quick. And then I'll be moving all of these fish ponds um, up this way. I was thinking of having f my four colorful ones up at the, the side edge. So these are all going to be like up here now, but not yet. I have to clear up all that space first. So 
Once that's all cleared up, then we can do that. Someday I can build all these obelisks. But today's not that day. <laughs> um, I, I want to, for my fish ponds, um, I want to have all four of the various colorful fish ponds. So we're going to have the lava eel, which we have. We're going to have the um, iridium pond with the super cucumber. We'll have the, I think it's the valid salmon or midnight carp. I don't remember. The other purple fish pond and then the slime jacks for the green. So that'll be great. Um, what are we doing for now? I'm going to start up here first. I'm going to make a few bits of this floor. I'm going to be doing like a, a little bit of a transition in order for me to kind of like show the transition from one path to the other. I'm going to have like it kind of go like every other for a little bit. It'll be cute. I've decided it'll be cute. It'll look good. Now, um, I'm also going to be clearing up some of my, like, my tappery, my sappery. The trees there are going to be adjusted because eventually that's where I'm going to put my golden clock. I don't think I'm going to be able to get the golden clock built this year, to be honest with you. Like, it's possible if I want to go with the whole greenhouse strat, I could do that, but I don't think I'm going to. I haven't decided if I want brick around the tea or if I want to have it be cobblestone around the tea. I think I might just do cobblestone. Or like, um, maybe I'll do stepping stones and cobblestone kind of mixed together. I like the way that looks. We're going to have like a little patio back here too. Or not a patio, but uh, we're going to have a deck. Alright, well, I guess that's about it for right now. Right? That's about all I can do at the moment. All right, I have to go to bed. <laughs> what a productive day. I did some stuff. Oh my gosh, we passed out. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> uh, hello, good morning. Good morning, morning. It's Saturday and our luck today are... Ooh, pyramids. That's, that's great. Okay, um, let me tell you a little story. <laughs> This is, this is fun. So I might sound a little bit different than yesterday because this is post-recording Wiki, not recording while I'm playing the game. And the reason for that is, uh, is great. So, um, if you follow me on social media or have watched any of my later, uh, like live streams or anything like that, you'll know that I got a, a cute little kitten recently named Peppercorn. She's the best. I love her so much, but you know what? She's kind of a terror a little bit. She, it, it she, she doesn't leave me alone. I love her though, but if I, whenever I come into the office, she needs to be here with me. Whenever I go into the bathroom, she's like, no, I want to be with you too. I must be everywhere you are. So anyway, um, I was recording this. Uh, <laughs> I, I started playing today and tomorrow and recorded it not realizing that um, my mic was muted the entire time because she decided to push some buttons of mine um, <laughs> and I didn't realize it until too late but that's okay it's fine here is what we're doing today or what I was doing today I'm not leaving the farm at all <laughs> Today is going to be 100% purely just a whole bunch of decorating, rearranging um, some of my craftables, and uh, giving Peppercorn all the kisses too because she deserves it. I mean, she she's a baby. She, you know, mistakes were made. That's fine. Still love her anyway. Anyway, we're going to be um, changing up a little bit uh, the layout that we have for our craftables. And I don't know, winter is best spent, in my opinion, just kind of like, yeah, you can make some money, but also like we're really focusing on how you want things to look because there isn't a whole lot to do otherwise. Um, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. So enjoy this long extended speed up of me just cleaning up the farm, picking up all the pathing and placing them back down just in a different order. 
Okay, so kind of the idea that I have for the organizing for this space right here is behind the wine shed on the right hand side, we're gonna have all of the chests with all of the different things, plus my little workbench in the middle. It makes it really easy for me to craft anything at any given time that I need. And then the furnaces and maybe a couple other crafting uh, machines over there too. And the um, farm computer is like the, the nerve center, you know, the control center for the farm. Or whatever because it's also like right outside the door you just go straight down and, and you're good <laughs> anyway behind the preserve jar shed we're gonna be having all of the extra crafting machines like um the geode crusher uh maybe the wood chippers or a few things like that um and i'm thinking of having hoppers behind a few things because i'm lazy <laughs> uh i don't know i don't know we'll see how it turns out um most like I, I like to change my mind on things a lot i try some layouts a little bit feel if i like the way it flows and then decide that i don't like the way it flows and then just change everything after that oh and in the middle between the two sheds we kind of also have our central area i'm gonna be putting a shipping bin over here and then our little um little warpy thing too ah huh, what a day I'd say I'm tired, but I'm feeling great. <laughs> oh my gosh. Long day. It's off to bed to do it again tomorrow. I sure do love Sundays in the Valley. And ooh, what do we have for our fortune? Oh, bats, yay. Oh, and well, Queen of the Sauce is a new recipe today. Poppy seed muffin. Only a few, actually I think only two recipes left after that. So we'll go ahead and whip that up real quick. Uh, making it as we go. So we only have two recipes to be cooked and should be pretty good with that. We're gonna get that done really quick. I like it. Oh yeah, this is still uh, editing wickety, by the way, giving you the play-by-play -play for one more day. <laughs> what are we doing here? I'm crafting some magic bait because I was just talking about how we were cooking everything because I want to get the cooking sheet completely filled out. So I need to catch myself a sunfish so that I can actually make the whatever fish it is. I think it's the baked fish or the the one with the sunfish and, and the other fish and we got to cook that. <laughs> So that's what we're going to be doing today. So I am going to actually leave the farm today. Surprise, surprise. Even I'm surprised. I'm only making like a 25 magic bait. Should be enough to get myself um, a sunfish. So let's go ahead and see how long it takes right out front of the river. You know, actually that took um, a lot less time and a lot less bait than I was expecting. Uh, we only used like three pieces of bait, which is fantastic. Um, great, actually. <laughs> and an iridium quality sunfish for cooking. Not that the quality matters, but it matters to me, you know? Maybe it tastes better that way. Baked fish, that's the one. Bremen sunfish, and it's done. So now we only have, let's check these out. Two recipes, I need to learn the bruschetta, and I need to learn the, uh, the shrimp cocktail right yeah and i think the shrimp cocktail is actually learned on the very last day of the year now there is another recipe that you could learn like we have three weeks left only two of those recipes i don't know one of them i do know because we befriended willie so we already learned the i want to say it's the lobster bisque but I, i'm not 100 percent sure on that is it bruschetta or is it bruschetta or how do you how do you say the the dish with the the bread and the tomatoes and the, the stuff right you know that chopping fruit trees down actually doesn't give you any experience at all not that you would know because i'm already max um foraging skill anyway but i thought it was pretty interesting anyway we're clearing up all of the trees here because um i'm gonna be having a junimo hut over in this area and um yeah, working on expanding out the farm the way I want it. So yeah, say goodbye to the trees. Oh, don't worry though. We are gonna be replanting quite a few of these. They're just gonna be in a different area. Now this section, um, our little animal processing area, I really not sure I like this here, or at least not in the way that it is because I'm gonna be moving the fish ponds. The fish ponds are gonna be up where the mahogany trees were at one point. 
so like the cheese maker, mayo maker, all of those kind of things, they're going to be at where the fish ponds currently are. And that way, I feel like I have an adequate amount of space for another burn and another coop, which would be fantastic. Okay, let's see. What's going on here? What's the plan? What's the situation? We're putting a whole bunch of stuff away because I have things to do. Oh, I think we're going to be doing some questing today too. But first things first, let's go ahead and get the rest of these. Um, this little section, um, all of my additional processors and things, we're going to lay those out. Um, with some hoppers. I only have a few hoppers, so we're going to need to either trade in some more key gems for some more hoppers, although I think I'm using those for like some recipes. So maybe we'll um, just get some more radioactive ore and radioactive bars and like craft those that way instead. At least I think that's what the plan is. Oh, that is a lot of wood flooring. Oh, yeah, yeah. The wood flooring is going to be around for my porch, I think, or my deck. Oh good, it's finally time to take care of all of these like quest items, or at least a few of them. Since I'm gonna be going up towards um, around town and whatnot, we're gonna drop off some of these good bits to some people, get those knocked out. I really like having a clear like little quest journal if I can. Um, yes, I think so, yes. Battery for you, Pam, take it, thank you. Off to the desert we go. Or why, though? I'm sure there's a reason. I'll figure it out. Let's watch and let's figure it out together because I don't know what I was doing over here. Maybe because it's Sunday? Do I have jade for trading? Do I have jade for trading? Oh no, this is what we're doing. Well, that's exciting. I'm relearning what I was doing when I, I played this day because I forgot, which is turning desert into a hardwood uh little forest which um i know that i know but i forgot that i knew that so we're going ahead and planting all these mahogany tree seeds and then throwing down some um some tree fertilizer in here because they won't grow in the winter no matter where you plant them unless it's um actually i don't know if they grow on ginger island in the winter i don't think so Okay, so I have this ornate necklace that I caught like ages ago and you can choose to either give it to Abigail or Caroline because Abigail's the one who borrowed it and Caroline's the one who it belonged to. And I don't really know where uh, Abigail is, so I guess we'll just figure it out. Here, Demetrius, take this puffer fish. You're welcome, goodbye. Ah, I gotta love questing day. Talking to people that you said you'd never talk to again, like this guy, Lewis. <laughs> Take your truffle oil, you gross person. I don't know. Here. <laughs> I love that so much. It makes me so happy. Anyway, uh, take that. Okay, good. Yeah, I found it. Stays between us, whatever. Everyone knows. Everyone knows, Lewis. You know that everyone knows, you little Lewis. I don't have an insult for Lewis. Oh, Caroline. Ooh, Caroline, what you doing? Is your daughter home? Like, um, I would love to give you this necklace, but also, like, I don't want Abigail to get in trouble because, uh, it's Abigail. Or maybe I do want her to get in trouble. I don't know. Do I want her to get in trouble? No, I think we're good. We'll give it to Abigail. It looks like it was a bachelor island today over the island. Oh, and I missed that. I missed it. I missed Harvey looking so, so, uh, fit and fly. Not to body shame Harvey. We don't body shame, but he does. This sprite just looks terrible, doesn't it? <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> Okay, sorry, I'll, I'll put it away. Okay, so I'm bringing this largemouth bass um, up to Jody, but it, it's like, it's all about timing and my timing is off. My timing's all wrong. I'm not here at the right time. So we're gonna have to save that for another time. <laughs> right now is not the time, but the time will come soon. And that time, it'll be the time to uh, give Jody this fish. Oh yeah. Abigail, yeah, there you are, there you are. She was over uh, visiting the wizard, I guess, or staring creepily. Yeah, Nicholas, I found it. It was in the waters, up in the bathhouse. I don't know why I was there. I don't know. 
Don't ask me. I just found it. I was fishing in weird spots. It's fine. Let's go ahead and clear all these out. That means all that I have left is to give some lobster that I have over at the island to Gus and drop this fish off to Jody at a reasonable hour because I guess they already had dinner without me. I took too long. I understand. I get it. Oh, that's why I made this floor piece because we're putting it over at the island. I totally forgot that I remembered that I forgot. No, I remember that I forgot, but I had forgotten. And now I remember because I'm looking at it while you're looking at it. And we're looking at the same thing together. But what happens is I made this floor because we're gonna cover the edges of the farm on Ginger Island so that we don't deal with the weeds. So if you get all of the like yellow bits of the farm covered, where the soil is at, um, that's where weeds can spawn. And I like to do the edges too, just in case. Um, so if you have that all covered up, then um, you won't have to worry about it ever showing up without like, like even without a, a, what's it called? Golden clock. Yeah, yeah, golden clock and stuff. Like you don't need the golden clock to stop debris here as long as you have um, this all covered. Need a lot more floor pieces for this too. And it's about time to head on to bed. But you know what's cool about that? Tomorrow, <laughs> I have my mic unmuted. So we have my old voice back. All right, see you tomorrow. Okay, it's Monday the 8th. Um, Oh, it's rainy. That's nice. Ooh, we got stars today. That's lovely. Oh, you know, I have this lobster and I have this largemouth bass, bass in my pocket. And I'm like, oh yeah, let's take care of some like quests today or something. The last two, but you know what? It's a festival today, so uh, that's not going to happen. Well, I guess we can grab these pineapples. Um, I can check the Keys Walnut Room, see what kind of quest we got going on there. And I can also check um, in town. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I worked so hard trying to get all of these, uh, rude. <laughs> it's the rogue debris that's just like, you know what? No. That's what I said. It's like, you trying to block me? I think not. I'm just gonna show up anyway. Let's go ahead and check out and see what's going on over at the walnut room. I'm gonna go explore the, uh, volcano for a minute. See if we can get ourselves the dragon teeth. Cause I feel like that would be a nice thing, a nice thing to do today. Nice break from what we've been doing. All right, what do we got in this walnut room? Please don't be garbage. Please don't be Junimo card again. I don't want to deal with it. Ugh. Gross, I hate them both. I don't want to do that again. Like never ever again. I, I mean, I don't hate it. I just don't enjoy it. I also don't really want to do this. I'd rather keep my prismatic shards, but you know what? You do what you got to do. Isn't that right, buddy? Give me better, <laughs> better quests, please. Um, what was I going to buy? Yeah, I think I'm going to stock up on my money a little bit so that we can get, um, a stock list and, uh, some galaxy souls or whatever. Um, this would be nice just so we can get it taken care of for perfection, but not yet. All right, um, I'm going to head on over to, actually, there's a setup that I need to do over here. I guess we'll start with, like, putting all the way around this flower. There's like, I have a whole setup with 33 bee houses that I really like right there. Oh, wait, I was going this way. Uh, the festival is going on today. We are not going to it. I've already beaten the festival. I don't need to, I don't need to prove myself any more than I already do. We already have three prismatic shards, which is fantastic. We're probably gonna take these home with us later, to be honest with you. Um, I really don't want to give my prismatic shards uh, because like that doesn't sound like fun to me at all, right? I would much rather keep it for fun stuff, but... All right, we are looking for, hopefully, some lava lurks to give us some dragon teeth. Oh, there's one already. Buddy, I just need to, I just need to. I don't have the money right now, but I promise I'm good for it. I'm good for it. I have so much stuff in a bunch of boxes at home. Buddy, buddy, be my friend. Be my friend, I promise. Give me your teeth. No, no. Tried. Any lava lurks in this lava here? 
I don't hear anything. I also don't see any treasure chests over there, so we're gonna skip it and move on to the next floor, I think. It's not a matter of iridium. <gasps> Ooh, two lava lurks, please. Can I get a tooth from both of you, please? Friends, friends? One tooth, sweet. One more, one more, one more. Oh, not, not it yet. Okay, let's eat a pineapple. That sounds tasty, nice and fruity and refreshing, as pineapples are, you know. All right, floor four. Oh, all of these uh, iridium notes, that's really nice. Oh, nice, a shark. Is that gonna go to key? Probably not, if I'm being completely honest with you. I don't even know if I wanna finish that. <laughs> that quest. But we'll probably have to do a Skull Cavern deep dive so that we can get some like prismatic shards and stuff because like I like the gems. Shards are nice, but gems are extra nice. Oh, let's sell some stuff here. Take that, take that. Take some diamonds. I've just been holding on to these. Right. Oh, please, please. Give me your teeth. I promise. I'll take good care of it. I just need one more. One more. Ah, oh, yes, that was the one. That was the one that gave me the tooth. That's fantastic. And I'll take this mushroom. I'll take that. I guess I don't really need to keep like going, but like, I'm not gonna not, right? All right, last floor to go. Then we can go home. <gasps> Ooh, tiger slime eggs. Those are worth uh, good money. We'll take those. Uh, that's worth money. I might as well just at least sell it, right? Trash selling is fine. Ooh, another pair of mermaid boots. Thanks. Uh, sure. I'll toss this bone. Since I have this prismatic shard, I might as well. <laughs> I hope it's something good. I, I'm hoping for a crusader. That's basically what I'm just wishing for once I get there. Oh, perfect. Yeah, now that we're there, we're, we'll stop. I'm going to head home and go to the through town and see what's on the board there. Maybe. There isn't really much that I need. Maybe I'll check it tomorrow. Yeah, we'll check the board tomorrow. I think I'm just going to go home and sell as much stuff as possible. If there's time, I'll go into town, but um, yeah, I think we're okay. Let's go to the farm home, then we'll go to home home and sell a whole bunch of stuff. Perfect. Six, seven o'clock. We've got some stuff here. We've got some stuff. I'm just going to start tossing a whole bunch of things into the cell bin. Anything. Ooh, more, more cinder shards. That's nice. Anything that I'm just planning on selling. I don't want any more tiger slim eggs. I'm fine with that. We're just going to sell like all of our extra gems and bits and bobs and bobbins and things like that. Where else do I have a whole bunch of stuff just stashed places? Ooh, I'll grab all these. Oh, I think my it's Monday, so I think that wine is ready today. I gotta get used to my whole new setup here, too. Oh, and I think my pickles are probably done, too, but I don't have a reserve jar for outside of the door. Should probably do that so I can have that timed better. All right, we also have a few... Um, a few things of kegs and they're in the tunnel over here. So I gotta go do that too. Da -da -da -da. Maybe it's not the best place for it, but it is what it is. It's fine. Oh, did I not place them yet? Oh, I was thinking of it, but I don't think I got around to it. Okay, that's fine. We have uh, oh, 11 kegs somewhere. Um, I need a spot for these. Um, I'm just gonna put them right here for now until next week. Uh, sure, let's do it. We're gonna just start making some pickled pumpkins. I need to, this should be about 75, I think. And I need to um, 
remember that we gotta um, make some more. I think it's like 67 that I need to craft. Okay, this is our sell box of all the things that we've been gathering for selling. So we're gonna sell all of that. It's one o'clock, so it's getting pretty late. Um, I'm also gonna go ahead and sell all but one diamond. We don't need any aquamarine for any reason. We don't really need cheese for any reason. Um, a lot of jade, that's great. I'm kind of hoping to get that like fully stocked up for a bit, so. We'll be doing something with that here soon. I don't need topaz, really. And yeah, just toss all the rest of this into a cell box. Honestly, we don't need pine tar, so it might as well sell like the whole batch. Well, like a decent amount of it. All right, I think that's good to sell and then we'll go to bed. Oh, I cannot wait until I see the sell sheet here. Star fruit, goat cheese, all the pickled pumpkins, a bunch of gems, um, 48 iridium cheese, only 10 fairy rose honey because I don't really have my fairy rose honey set up just yet. Do I have enough time to drop these boots off? Probably, maybe, I don't know. There we go. And off to bed for me. I cannot wait to see this sell sheet. It's going to be great. Oh my gosh. Did we clear a one and a half million? Yeah, it's almost 1.6 million. Look at all that money. Oh man. And I know, I know that there is a lot more money to be had just laying around in boxes, especially with things not being fully processed yet. 8,300 in pine tar, which is fine. I just wasn't really using pine tar for anything, so might as well sell it, right? Ruffles, oh my gosh, so great. Awesome. Oh, and I know what tomorrow's gonna be. That's even more exciting. But that's just gonna have to wait for another day and another episode because that's it for this one. Thanks so much for like dealing with my muted game struggle. Ah, oh, cats, man. Love them though. It's great. She's great. It's fine. <laughs> It's okay. Alrighty, friends. Thanks so much for hanging out in the valley with me. I'm Wickety, and I'll see you next time. Bye.